So when I first saw the Lava Bright Sons 2, it honestly looked like a bit of a mess. It's a speaker, it's a lamp, it's a mobile phone charger, and to be honest, I couldn't quite imagine where it all fits together. But after having used it, I have to say I was pleasantly surprised. So as this is from the UK, it's priced at £39.99, which translates to about $50. Just before we start my full review, if we could hit 3 likes on this video, that would be absolutely amazing. And if you don't already follow me on Snapchat, do that now, because we've got a Snapchat Q&A coming up, and I'd love to hear your questions. Let's go. Right from the off, the Lava Bright Suns 2 is off to a bit of a head start. It's one of the cheapest Bluetooth speakers that you can get from an established brand right now. So how does it feel in the hand? Well, the build quality is not quite metal, but it's very sturdy. They've even bundled in IPX4 water resistance, not to be confused with waterproofing. Please don't go dunking it in the sea. But what really matters here is the solidity of it, and it does feel strong. I've tried squeezing it, dropping it, and even throwing it a couple of times. And yes, it does mark, but it's done well to have not broken by now, and I still can't get it to creak. So looking around, we've got some rubber feet on the bottom, and then a single stereo 5 watt speaker up top. The ambient LED is unfortunately just one colour, it'll only glow white. But I'm proud to say that it is much brighter than I was expecting, making a big difference at night, and even a noticeable one during the day. Now while it is bright, unfortunately the lighting's not too consistent. It actually looks slightly different from each angle, and you can see quite clearly that the light fades as you move up the speaker. And up top, we've got the control panel. So play and pause, volume adjust, answer calls, and LED on and off. So a pretty standard affair here. The big question, how does the Bright Sounds 2 sound? Well in one word, it sounds good. In fact, it sounds better than I was expecting it to. It's gonna take your phone volume to a whole new level. I mean, it can probably quadruple the volume output on my phone. It's gonna add a huge amount of bass to it, richness to the music, and a little bit of extra detail. And it's also gonna output sound in roughly a 360 degree orientation. It's not perfect though. You can actually get more detailed sounding speakers at this price if you decide to go for a lesser known brand. On top of that, because the sound is outputted at 360 degrees, the volume, while it's great at filling smaller rooms, does fall quite significantly when you move outside, and I do feel like that's its intended use. Having said that, there are times when this speaker absolutely shines, where it totally demolishes the competition. For example, if you're going to a festival, you're going to need the light when you're camping, you're going to need the speaker to blast out some tunes, not exactly have an outdoor rave, but just something chilled out. And the mobile battery bank? absolutely priceless. In fact, if it weren't for the speaker, I reckon most people would end up taking a separate one anyway, and the battery on this thing is pretty darn good. You can actually squeeze about 35 hours of music playback, or charge your phone one and a half times. So guys, there we have it, the Bright Sounds 2. And yes, on paper, it looks like a bit of a weird one. It looks like it's been slightly overlooked by the developers and they tried to throw too many things in at once. But when you start to use it, when it really comes into its own, you realise that it's actually combining three priceless things that tend to go hand in hand anyway. The fact that it looks nice, is built well, and has a good sound quality just makes the offering even sweeter. Thanks a lot for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.